<clears throat> welcome to the channel. Um, this is um, an overview of YCharts, uh, Peter Lynch Universe. Uh, they screen for stocks that have small caps, low peg ratios, reasonable debt to equity ratios, and something of a dividend. They come up with a list of 35 stocks that resemble, th uh, resemble a Peter Lynch uh, like stock. Um, there's a bunch of videos I've made on some of the other uh, names on this list, uh, but we're going to be looking at a new entrant onto the list, and this is uh, Blackstone Minerals 8LP. Uh, the ticker symbol is BSM. Now, keep in mind, I don't know a lot about this company or any really any of the companies, uh, at least so far, on uh, the Peter Lynch universe. So, if you're planning on investing in this, make sure you do some due diligence on your own to uh, just make sure it's uh, a worthy investment. Because yeah, this is just a quick overview of uh, some of the some of the names on this list. Um, now, according to Y charts, it gives it a rating of attractive. It has a value score of 10 out of 10. Fundamental score of 7 out of 10. Um, historical multiple of the valuation is positive, so it's undervalued by 43.13 percent, according to. Y charts. Um, the profile says the Blackstone Minerals LP is an oil and natural gas mineral company. It owns oil and natural gas mineral interests, which make up the majority of the asset base. Its business is actively managing an, exist an existing portfolio of mineral and royalty assets to maximize its value and expanding asset base through acquisitions of additional mineral and royalty interests. Um, so yeah, it sounds like um, they're in the energy space, possibly. Uh, just like a, an income trust of some kind, so they're getting royalties off of uh, investments that they made in probably uh, E and P companies, oil and gas producers, exploration and, pro and production companies. So um, that's just my guess. Although I'd have to really actually <laughs> check out their uh, investor relations and maybe go through their annual report. Um, but yeah, just really quickly here, let's take a look at the market cap here is just over $3 billion. Um, the forward dividend yield is incredibly healthy, 12.68%. Although this isn't totally uncommon with a lot of like energy companies or trusts recently because of uh, the, the price of a lot of these commodities, uh, energy, com energy commodities, oil, natural gas, depending on the region. Um, coal, I've done a few uh, videos on coal as well. Um, you can see like investors like Warren Buffett buying companies like Chevron and Occidental Petroleum um, simply because, yeah, there is, uh, you know, a decent amount of demand for, um, well, you know, fossil fuel energy, comp energy. and um, a lot of these companies have been shunned by uh, the the market in general um, they have a real distaste for fossil fuels so um, you'll see quite a few bargains in uh, in this space um, I've actually got a fair amount of uh, energy and P companies in my own portfolio just because um, yeah the uh, the bargains are there for sure these companies uh, as long as the you know the prices maintain remain high and you if you believe, like I do, that uh, those prices are for these some some of these commodities are going to continue to either remain stable or uh, maybe even increase, um, they're definitely going to fluctuate quite a bit. Uh, they're not for the faint heart, that's for sure, because um, the commodity prices do go up and down, and uh, the prices of some of these uh, companies go up and down quite a bit as well. But um, I think over the long term, if you're thinking long term, these are is a really good place to be. This is a lot of value in this space. So um, yeah, I might do a video on that maybe a little bit more later. But uh, back to Blackstone Minerals, the five-year revenue growth is nine, just over nine percent. Revenue quarterly year-over-year growth is 28.4 percent. That's pretty good. EPS five-year growth is just under 16 percent. EPS diluted quarterly year-over-year growth is like just over 36%, which is pretty decent. Um, the debt to equity ratio is non-existent, so I'm guessing they probably don't have any debt. We'll find out in a second. Return on equity is 43.83%. Uh, PE ratio, 7.071. Uh, one thing I noticed here is, um, yeah, quite a bit of insider ownership 
Um, it's been increasing quite significantly, uh, especially recently. Um, so that's again something I'm going to put this on my watch list. Maybe dig into this a little bit more. I might do another video on it and uh, maybe keep you guys up to date with what I find on some of these uh, energy companies because quite a few of them are doing really well. Um, the cash flows are pretty good and um, for the ones that have good management and they're interested in um, you know, rewarding investors, they'll probably increase their dividend or be buying back shares or some combination of the both. I know that's what's happening with uh, Occidental Petroleum, which is a reason why uh, Warren Buffett really likes it a lot. But, um, yeah, Blackstone Minerals. Let's look at some of the key stats here. On the balance sheet, it has cash of 4.3 million. Um, yeah, it doesn't really look like it's going anywhere with the cash. Probably all this cash ends up going uh, going out the door as soon as it comes in because it's a royalty trust. Um, the long-term debt, same situation. Uh, there's probably not a lot of long-term debt there. Um, yeah, that was quite high in 2020, but uh, that does that does has been disappeared. Um, Pre-crash flow. That's on the rise. Shares outstanding. Yeah, they've been buying back shares. Not really. Uh, the dividend yield, yeah, it's an impressive dividend yield. And the P ratio, yeah, peg ratio is pretty low, uh, 0 0.0393. So, um, yeah, Peter Lynch would consider that uh, undervalued uh, if you're just going by that metric. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, this is a royalty trust. There's quite a few of them out there. There's, I did a video on another one uh, recently that was popped up into uh, this screener by White Charts. Um, it was called uh, North European Royalty Trust. There's a video of it. Um, similar kind of situation. It's a um, it's not uh, so much oil and natural gas, it's just a purely natural gas uh, name in Europe, actually in Germany, um, kind of an ideal location because, uh, you know, they've really, uh, you know, they're, they're really hurting for natural gas over in Europe, especially in Germany because of, uh, you know, what's happening with uh, the war in Ukraine and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, you can see <clears throat> the same kind of situation where the yield on that royalty trust has exploded. Um, whether or not it can be maintained is another story, but uh, for the time being, if you're willing to like, uh, you know, risk it, and there's definitely like some probabilities that it will uh, not remain that high, but also there's a probability that it will continue to remain high. It's not really anybody's guess, but. <coughs> um, yeah, I think for that one, it's something like 18% uh, yield, so it's pretty healthy. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, Blackstone Minerals. So if you're interested in um, keeping up to date uh, with what's happening with this Peter Lynch universe, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing videos uh, like this, more of them. Uh, and... Um, just keeping uh, people up to date with yeah, like what's happening with this chart because it changes every once in a while. You can also check out my website, peterlynchinvestor.com, and uh, it has uh, the same list. Uh, I routinely update that, and or you can also just subscribe to the newsletter there uh, where I'm going to ping you if uh, there's any real changes, big changes to, uh, the, to the Peter Lynch universe. Um, but yeah, I guess that's that for today. That was Blackstone Minerals. Um, yeah, thanks very much.